Okay, so yesterday we started um, rational expressions, and remember we went through a, a little pop quiz that we did with fractions, because rational expressions are fractions. They're just happening in fractions that have letters in them. So at the top of this it says, just like fractions, because they work just like fractions. So we're going to review how you would multiply and divide fractions. So first, if I had these two fractions, 3 fourths times 5 sevenths, how would I multiply these? Straight. Straight across, right? You multiply straight across top and bottom. So that's the step. Multiply straight across. Mm. And when I do that, I get 15 28ths. All right, so problem number two, we're going to just do the fractions first, then we'll do the rational expressions. So what do I do with this one? Uh, mix, can you turn it over a mixed number? Put it over one. one, right? So you're going to put a one underneath the whole number, and then multiply straight, straight across. Four. So this is 8 over 9. So... What would be 8x over 9? It's, it, that's a times. Oh. You don't see this anymore. No, we really don't. So the, the steps are put a 1 under the whole number and then multiply straight across. <sighs> okay, now on number 3, you could just multiply straight across, but there is something we can do with fractions that actually makes this a little bit easier. I have that 4 in fraction number 1 and the 4 in fraction number 2. Can they cancel out? We, and remember, we say cancel Simple and cancel, one. but they really become 1. Now, I don't know which um, when they started doing this, but I do know that when Kemper does his homework, when they have fractions now like this, they teach them to actually switch them and make it 4 over 4 times 1 ninth. Because that makes it easy to see that this really becomes 1. Because 4 over 4 is just 1. So that's what they, in the answer, would do one ninth. But, but, we probably, I know I learned it, that you cancel, cancel them out, or just they become 1. On. So just like that. So it's 1 over 9. So what I'm going to write as the step, I'm going to put cancel in quotation marks, because we know that means it really just becomes 1. Cancel common factors, and then multiply across. Bless you. Now, in number three, the common factors were really easy to see. They were very straightforward. Mm -hmm. On problem number four, there are still common factors. They're just not quite as obvious. But look at the 15 and the 5. A common factor of 5. 5 goes into both, right? It goes into this one time, and it goes into the 15 three times. Same thing for 4 and 6. What's the common factor between 4 and 6? 2. So 2 goes in twice and three times. So then you multiply across, and you get 2 over 9. So the steps are the same. Cancel common factors. And then multiply across. So before we move on to the division of fractions, let's go back and do the same thing with our rational expression. The steps are the same because, just like the title of the page says, rational expressions are just like fractions. They are fractions. So the first one says to multiply straight across. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to multiply straight across. I am going to write out the middle step here. So 2 times x is 2x. When I multiply across down here, I'm, I'm just going to write them down next to each other. x minus 4x plus 1. But you do need to go ahead and distribute that out. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Michael, to the office you're leaving. So now I'm going to go ahead and foil out the bottom. So I end up with x squared minus 
minus 3x minus 4. Everybody okay? Alright. Number two, put a hole, put a one under the whole number. So just the rule is the same. So I'm going to put a one under this three and multiply straight across. So three times eight is twenty-four. One times anything is itself. So that is it. Can I simplify that twenty-four and that six? No. No, because the grouping bar of the fraction, the fraction bar is a grouping symbol. And it's not just a six. It's x, x plus six. And so it can't be canceled or simplified with anything. Alright, so they gave us two on this one because even though we're used to a whole number being a number, these parentheses make this one number. They group it together, indicating that is one whole number. So I'm going to put that whole thing over a 1 and multiply across. Again, I'm going to write out that middle step because it's just to make sure everybody sees what I'm doing. 8 times x plus 1, and on bottom that would be 1 times x plus 6. You don't necessarily have to write the 1. And now on top, I am going to distribute. I get 8x plus 8 and x plus 6. Everybody okay? Alright, so on number 3, cancel common factors. X plus 3. My x plus 3's are common, so I can cancel them and multiply across. were. So in this case with these rational expressions, they're not as obvious either until you factor it. So we're going to have to factor anything that will factor. So the first fraction, the top won't factor. X minus 3 won't factor, but this trinomial down here will. So let's go ahead and factor. How would I factor that? X plus 5, X plus 4. X plus 5, X plus 4. And the X plus 5 cancel. The X plus 5's will cancel. And then my denominator of this one also factors because it has a GCF of 2. So if I factor out a 2, that leaves me x minus 3. And now x minus 3, x minus three is canceled. So it looks like I'm left with nothing on top. But what's really on top? 1. one. And on bottom I have 2 times x plus 4, which is 1 over 2x Plus eight. Everybody's all right. Wait, wait, wait. So for that two x minus six, you can divide. I factored out a two, and that gave me so that before I canceled it, I factored out that two and it left me inside of x minus eight. All right. So now let's talk about division. We'll go back to just fractions first. Anybody remember how you divide fractions? You have to get them to a common denominator. Uh-uh. Not yet. That's addition and subtraction. Make them break down. Uh, you multiply. Yes. You multiply by the reciprocal. <laughs> or you keep switch flip. Did y'all learn keep switch flip? Or keep change flip? Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to write keep switch flip. And then you multiply across. So when I say keep switch flip, you keep the first fraction the same. You switch the sign from division to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction over. And then you just multiply across. So this is 16 thirds. Problem number six is the same. You keep switch flip. If you have common factors, cancel them. 
and then multiply across. So in problem number six, I keep the first fraction the same, three halves, switch it to multiplication, flip the second one over. Now on this one, I do have common factors because two goes into both two and eight. So that'll go in one time, and here it goes in four times. So be Multiply straight 12 across. Over one. 12 over 1, which is just 12. Mm. So when we do it with our rational expressions, remember, they are just like fractions. They are fractions. So we're going to keep switch flip. So you keep that first fraction the same. Change it to multiplication. Flip the second one over. If you had common factors at this point, you would cancel them. Now, I could factor a GCF of 2 out of this, and that would leave me 2 on the outside and x plus 2 on the inside. However, that doesn't help me. That doesn't leave me anything to cancel. So on this one, we just have to multiply straight across. So I'm going to write the middle step. 2x plus 4 times x minus 2 over 5 times x plus 3. And then you are going to have to simplify that or multiply it out. So I got 2x squared minus 8 over 5x plus 15. When I foiled that top out, the two, the O and the I, the two inside steps, they canceled each other out. Because I got positive 4x and minus 4x. Everybody okay? Alright, last one. Keep the first fraction the same. Switch it to multiplication. Flip the second one over. Yeah. Then, in order to know if I have common factors, I'm going to have to factor this top trinomial. Nothing else will factor. Four is as simplified as it gets. That's just a simple binomial, so is that. But this will factor as x plus 3, x plus 1. X plus 3 is cancel. You get 4. 4 times x plus 1 over x minus 7 which is 4x plus 4 over x minus 7. Everybody okay? Alright, so this last statement that they want us to remember, when can you simplify a fraction? The good thing about multiplication and division, what makes multiplication and division easy, is that you can simplify before you multiply. So that's what we want to remember. Simplify before you multiply. That is not the case for addition and subtraction, which is one of the reasons why it's more difficult.